Yeah, Mr. Hello? Allah knows best. Hello, you're live on air. Hello. Yeah. Oh, uh, thingy. Um, I think I called you a couple of days ago when you were talking about. Oh about yeah. Him. Yeah, yeah. I remember you. You, you uh, were, you were about to leave Islam, right? I remember you. About yeah. Cha I've, about chapter five, I have forty-seven, right? Yeah. Okay. Did you did you study it carefully, Mr. Yeah. Okay. What and did I uh, left it. You left Islam. Yeah, I'm just Hallelujah. going Hallelujah! To... Welcome, my friend. Welcome to apostasy. <laughs> yeah. I have a oh. thing he changed my Skype name though, so that's why it says Allah knows yeah, best. Yeah, okay, I I'm understand. Winning. So I'm happy for you, my friend. Can you tell me why you left Islam? Well, of the, the verse that you showed me, chapter thing five, verse forty-seven. Yeah. I studied it carefully and I looked into it, and I, I'm thinking like, there's no way I could answer it, and I okay. thought the only thing that makes sense is is that Islam is false. Yeah. Well, I'm I'm so happy for you, my friend. Look, uh, we uh, we always try to have nice, po nice and respectful discussions with Muslims, right? We don't hate any Muslim, honest to God. I mean, my God is my witness. But when we go through the Quran, and you are, you seem like a very humble, some very respectful guy, and I respect that. Didn't I tell you last time you forced me to respect you? Remember what I said to you? Didn't I yeah. tell you that? Okay. So, and I really, I'm really humbly saying to you i'm happy that you used your brains and you left this man-made call because in no way shape or form is allah is going to say that the christians must judge by the gospel by the injil right and judge by it what is revealed in it right what yeah. is revealed in it that means if we christians must judge by the gospel we have to reject allah and muhammad because the Jeel clearly states that Jesus is the Son of God. People worship Jesus. Jesus did not rebuke them. Jesus is the Son of God. He calls himself the Son of God. He calls God his Father. That contradicts the Quran. It contradicts Islam. So I'm happy for you, my friend. Can I invite you to become a brother in Christ? Do you want to pray with me and accept Jesus as your Lord and Savior, my friend? Uh, well, I'm sort of new to Christianity. Yeah. So I, I always say, like, I'm... Like if it's the truth, I'll be welcome to uh, like okay. join it. Okay. But obviously, I want to take my time to like understand sure. it first. Sure. Because no if problem. I convert sure. to it without knowing anything, I could easily just leave it. No I want to like be sure. No problem. If it's the truth. Yeah, of course. You know, I understand that it's it was really hard for you, and I really respect your sincere gesture that you called me a couple days later. Right now, here, right here, right now. I'm I'm really. You know, like I said, you forced me to respect you. All the people in the live chat, look at the live chat. They are going crazy. They respect you. They love you like I love you, my friend. I'm happy for you that you made your decision to leave this man-made cult. I'm happy for you. Take your time. Rome was not built in one day. So I, I want to ask you to go, for example, to BibleGateway.com or go to BibleHub.com. We have also admins in the live chat who can give you links, who can help you out. So please stay with us, stay in the live chat and the admins are going to help you out so you can uh, understand how which Bible website to go to. Maybe they can uh, give you uh, a Bible or they can help you to, uh, to learn how to deal with it and you can start to learn about the Bible. Read it, my friend. Uh, you know, Jesus said, if you are seeking, I'm there for you. He is the shepherd. So if you ask God to guide you, he is there because you are a child of God. That's what Christianity and the Bible teaches. So my friend, only the truth and only the truth will set you free. And this is why we are here. We are not here for, for ourselves. We are not here for fame. Like the Muslim apologist, right? Uh, you can buy the black seats and you will get 10% off, right? This is the, the commercial they're always playing in their videos, right? Like uh, Ali Dawa and uh, Muhammad Hijab. It's all about the money. But here, my friend, we only care about the truth. Nothing but the truth. Ah, thank you. For thank you for calling. I'm really Thank you. Thank you. No, thank you for being here. God bless you. Ah, thank you. Thank you. And my friend, if you decide, if you decide to accept Christianity, call me. I would love to pray with you so you can accept Jesus as your Lord. Say, please call me. I'm your brother. All right? Yeah. Okay. Take your time. I and I uh, would love to hear from you again, my friend. God bless you. I'm happy for you. All right, thank you. Thank you for calling. Thank you. Bye-bye. Wow.
How can you as Muhammad, we know this, this is written by Muhammad, this is the book of Muhammad, man. Muhammad wrote this. How can you command the gospel, people of the gospel, to judge by the gospel, but bust yourself so hard? How can you tell them to go to the gospel, judge by the gospel, but at the same time, you have no idea what the gospel is saying. If the Christians must judge by the gospel, they have to reject Muhammad, throw him in the garbage and throw Allah in the garbage because the Injil, the gospel is completely destroying Muhammad. I respect you. You are my brothers and sisters in Christ. Please help this brother out. Take care of him. You know, take care of him, help him, guide him to know where he needs to go. Help him. Maybe you can give him a, a good Bible translation. Help this brother out and keep him in your prayers. This is why we do this. We do this for the truth. We serve the truth. We don't hate Muslims, man. Muslims, stop thinking that we hate you. We have to first break that wall that you made around you, which is the Islamic wall. Then maybe then you will be open for the truth. Stop listening to your lying and deceiving Imams. If this guy can leave Islam, you can too. You can too leave Islam. Read the gospel, my friend. Jesus is inviting you back home. He is looking for you. Find him, man. If you ask, he will provide. Lord Jesus, I pray to you to open all these Muslim eyes. Shine your holy light on all of them, God. Amen to that. Amen to that. The rise of apostasy. People are leaving Islam at unprecedented rates. The narrative of Islam being the fastest growing religion is no longer true. The Muslim community is now in damage control from this new threat. Dr. Bilal Phillips in a recent Friday sermon openly has warned the Muslim community that apostasy will come like a tsunami. And if we don't take constructive steps to deal with this, it is going to become an avalanche. A tsunami that is going to hit our community in such a way that we will have a very difficult time standing. It will knock us over. المسيح قام من بين الأموات ووطئ الموت بالموت ووهب الحياة للذين في القبور مسيح قام من بين الأموات ووطئ الموت بالموت ووهب الحياة للذين في القبور مسيح قام من بين الأموات ووطئ الموت بالموت ووهب الحياة للذين في القبور Christos anesti epne kron sanatun sanatun batisas keti sentis ni masizo ifkari samenos. Messiah, 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 Messiah,